This video features an item available for pre-order or purchase at Big Bad Toy Store. Check out the link in this video's description to visit their website. I am Anthony from Hashesnet. Today we're going to look at Earthrise Megatron, which, if you don't know, that is his, it's his Earth form, because in Siege it was a Cybertronian form, and Siege Soundwave. So Soundwave has in this tape deck uh, Ravage, and then of course on his arm is Laserbeak. Now I really dig these two because obviously they work together, and uh, I mean obviously if you have one you should have the other. I kind of wish that Soundwave had a tape mode, but what are you going to do? So let's put them aside and take a look at the boxes. First, here's Megatron, a big old Megatron looking all angry and wants the arc because you see the arc in the hologram there. Here's the back. It's a fairly generic looking back compared to like Siege. I mean, nothing special. And then, of course, the typical Siege side. And uh, nothing on top sides, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Or, sorry, that's Earthrise. On. But anyway, here's Siege. It's Soundwave. Big O standing there. All sound wavy. Now, this is a back right here. It tells you all the different ways you can uh, use other characters with this character. And then, of course, here's the typical Siege side. So, of course, uh, they come with instruction sheets. And Megatron came with a don't hurt yourself sheet. And uh, of course, in the background behind the blister is the Starfield and who cares? I don't. So here they are standing together and they look great. I think the size comparison is good. And then of course we look at Megatron's face and I really like the face. Uh, it's, it's comparable to the 35th anniversary uh, animation style one, which I really appreciate. But uh, the other thing is, like, I love the fact that he's a legit tank. Uh, so, I mean, you see he has treads. Unlike in the previous version, he had, like, uh, hover treads, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Soundwave here. Uh, he has little tape deck chest. He has little, uh, I, guess, I, I guess they're megaphones or speakers. I don't know. And then, of course, he can hold on his little buddies. And then he, there's... Uh, Laser, uh, laser beak on his hands and of course in this tape deck is uh, Ravage oops I got him to stand up there so let's take a closer look at Megatron now I hate the sword or the little bit on the sword because it, it's it's just it's too loose and it makes it difficult to get into the port um, so, uh, yeah, it, it's just, it doesn't work for me too well. And then the other piece that was attached to it keeps falling off. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to put those aside and let's get to, uh, some Megatroning. So Megatron, first you flip his cannon and then put his hands into his, his wrists, I guess. And you want to detach the backpack after you detach the arms a little bit because you're going to basically switch them around location wise so we'll pull up the backpack and you, as you see um, his arms can fold backwards and uh, you just have to adjust them because you need the two hole uh, the hole to match up the other side of the cannon and then you push them together voila and then you got to try to get the treads uh, uh, apart and of course you see Megatron's face he isn't uh, he, he, his head doesn't go down as much as the other one so then you fold in the this top piece here and as you see there's two there's peg holes and uh, then you try to slide it back now uh, I say that remembering that there is a connector on both sides of his chest here and over here and then there's a little tabs so you kind of have to pull it over and I realize it causes the top piece to disconnect but there's not too much you can do about that you just have to peg the top piece back in I don't know if it's my version of Megatron's doing that or maybe everyone's does that but uh, it, it, it's, it's a little bit of annoyance but once you get it done it, it looks good it's in there and uh, you're pretty much halfway done Now I'm going to try to get the legs to get into place and the, the 
problem is the way the joint works is exactly the same as the other one. But first, let's we break the feet down, and then we go ahead and uh, we're going to try to get the legs to do what they need to do. Now, the first is rotate the, the hips uh, 180 degrees, then pull up the side panels on the feet or legs, and then we're going to stretch out the leg, fold it, as you see, and then we're going to rotate the piece around because you have to collapse it into the leg although i'm going to try to do it without moving the actual thigh bit so let's see if i can fix that okay there we go and as you see not too bad and then we'll do the same thing with the other leg uh this time i think i'll hold the piece a little bit better and then we'll just turn this one piece around and around as it goes into the the treads and then once we have that, we close the top, and then we snap them into place. Now, this one's always been a pain for me. I just kind of seem to get the tab into the slot there. But once they're in, they're in, and uh, that's pretty good. It just it You don't have this problem on the Siege version because they don't slide in together. But, I mean, it looks freaking good. But there's still one piece to put in there. So first off, we'll do the cannon, which uh, I'll show you. There's the two little trigger pieces on the shoulder that are in front there. And then they go into the holes on the cannon's nozzle, I guess. You push that piece on and you got to make sure everything lines up. And once it goes on really good, it looks really nice. I think it's awesome looking. And then you got to fit the, yep, that, that looks great. Then you got to fit the piece in the back here. And the big problem is that you kind of have to watch his crotch. And you got to kind of like pull the legs apart a little bit. And I don't like this part, uh, but sometimes it is just a bear to get in. So you stick it in on one side. And then once that's done, you will uh, pull the other leg slightly to fit in the the piece, and uh, it is a jerk. As you see here, I am. I, I really got to struggle with it, and and then finally it flips in. Uh, that is actually probably one of the easiest times I've ever had on this. Usually it's super difficult, but uh, this is what the tank looks like. I think it looks spectacular. A nice wheels on the bottom. Uh, too bad the treads aren't real, but what's she going to do? Megatron face is kind of just popping out there, but, you know, it, it's, it's good to go. And the turret does go 360, although I might have boo-booed something, as you see I'm having a little bit. Oh, you know what? The little stick at the bottom of the quote-unquote sword slash cannon came out and was in the way. But, I mean, otherwise, it totally goes around. Um, I think mine's a little too loose, but uh, it, it's pretty good. So we'll put that aside and get to Soundwave here. We'll take his little buddies off and put them aside. And uh, we'll fix his leg there in uh, laser beak. Okay. And then we're going to pull out uh, uh, Ravage, throw him over there. And uh, now we're going to start transforming Soundwave. Let's pull off all his weapons first. And uh, so uh, after we've gotten the weapons off, what we're going to try to do is transform them. The first part is pull the backpack out and put his head in. And then the backpack comes out further and then drops onto the top of his head where his head was. Then uh, over the legs, you're going to find the compartment in the back and you're going to pull it out and then put the leg in or foot in, I should say, and then flip out the bottom piece there. And that'll cover up where the leg used to be. Uh, then we will uh, separate the spine. It's weird. You kind of have to pull it up. But what happens is you can rotate the back a little bit. But be careful because if you put too much pressure on the cassette case, you may accidentally break it. So once you've done that, you can snap it into place. Although um, I might be skipping a step on this one. But as you see, there's the holes and then the tabs. And you just it snaps into place really easy. So next thing you do is you uh, adjust the legs. So it, you rotate them 40 or 90 degrees and then they tab in together. 
Then there's two pieces that flip up. They make the bri- I want to say the deck of the starship you're you're creating. But this is where we go back to maybe you should detach the spine or attach these things first. Don't forget there are tabs on the leg, so you got to attach them to the tabs first. Then you snap the back piece back on, as you see, and. I mean, it'll snap into place. Trust me. There we go. So it looks pretty good. I, I, it looks spectacular, actually. Now, next, you're going to take the arms. You're going to detach them from the sides, and then you're going to put them on the bottom here. Now, you got to once you do both of that, you got to adjust the landing gear so that way you can kind of see how you need to attach them. Because it has like uh, some skiffs or skids or whatever you want to call them. And once you get them into place, uh, I, I don't know if it's just my version of Soundwave, but they're, they're kind of difficult to move. But um, there's a little tab and a hole in which you put the arm in. It snaps into place. Same on the other side. And then, of course, you want to try to connect the the skiff or, ta or ski or whatever. Um, and then just try to snap those into place. There you go. Uh, almost okay. Yeah, it's just it's super tough on this one. I don't know why. Uh, Sound blaster didn't give me this much problem. Anyway, just make sure everything snaps back into place thoroughly. Make sure to pull out the skis on the others. There you go. And then there he is. Uh, you just pull out the side. I guess these are boosters. And then you throw on the weapons. So one there. And one. On the other side, push that piece in. Okay, here we go. And uh, th that, uh, I guess, there, I, don't, I don't think there's a place for this. Yeah, there's no place for this. Oh, well. But, uh, I mean, it looks pretty good to me. That's, you just put that down there. So that was Soundwave, and uh, he looks pretty good. Here's from the side. And, uh, Here's the front. I, I really love how his deck is just all connected around the bridge. Uh, and then, of course, the bottom and the back. And yes, you can still pop the deck out. And uh, we can put him over here. Tell me what you think about these guys in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.